morning, people. How are we doing? Welcome to a crazy Wednesday. Uh, I am leaving the house really quickly, as it is now 12.45. I got off the phone with my mate Stevie at 12.39, so I've had a shower, got changed in six minutes. I've then got to be in Leicester Square by half past one to meet my friend Tommy, who's a TikToker. I will put his channel just here. He is extremely funny, go and follow him. Um, he does impressions, a really good impression of Boris Johnson and James Acaster, the comedian. If you don't know who James Acaster is, it's pretty spot on what Tommy does. But then afterwards, it's so exciting. I'm going to see Sam Ryder, who was in Eurovision last year. He was a UK entry, came second. And there's a new venue that I saw John Luke Gage at like a few weeks ago. He's playing there, he's sold it out. It's going to be an amazing atmosphere and I'm going to take you guys along with me to go and see him because my excitement levels today are through the roof. They just are. And it's freezing cold so I'm going to take my, take my scarf with me. The lighting just got really bad all of a sudden. I just had, I think, one of the best tube rides I think I've ever had in my life. I got on the tube, sat down, took out my headphones, because one of them stopped working. I had a tiny meow next to me. There were three kittens in a box. I will put the picture just here. One of them was just asleep. The other one was kind of like, just leave me alone. And the other one was really scared and he was just walking around, wanting to find like a really comfy spot to sit. And then like, he turned the box around and there was just like, they were all really scared and they were just looking out at everyone. But it's made my absolute day already. The fact that I got on the tube with a bunch of kittens. The last clip I filmed was actually in the daylight. I've been sitting inside the Ivy Club doing some work. It's been 45 minutes, 45 minutes at most. Um, I had a coffee and I've come out and it's dark and all Christmassy and lovely. So I am actually going to go and meet Lizzie for some dinner. I know I ate like not that long ago, but I'm gonna meet her for some dinner and then I'm off to see Sam Ryder, which I needed to get through like the worky bit of the day to actually enjoy this evening and I feel like I've done enough today work-wise to enjoy tonight and just put down my phone obviously I'll keep my vlog camera with me so that we can go on it together So dinner was absolutely lovely. It, I had like ox tongue, never had it before, but it was quite truffly. So my breath, oh, it is a bit potent. I need to go and find some mint somewhere because um, the line for Sam Ryder is huge. My mate's not turning up until 20 past eight, it's now half past seven. So I've got about 50 minutes. I want to go and do some more emails, some more work, but he's in, that building, that Sam Ryder's building, for tonight and tomorrow. And the line goes round the block and I'm not surprised in the slightest. But if you are in London, uh, come to Tottenham Court Road because the venue that Sam Ryder's in, it's called Here at Outernet. And this is Outernet and they've got these like cool kind of, not virtual reality, but they've got these screens and they're huge. Look at it. Massive. Like, just take this in. One sec. Don't know if you can make that out. Look who it is. Always brings a smile to my face to see Mr. Sheeran up on a big board. Look at him playing his guitar, singing his heart out. We are just uh, about to go in to see Sam Ryder. He comes on. In about 25 minutes but it is rammed in there 
I've seen the line, it goes around the block, I think I mentioned that already. But, it's gonna be such a good gig. I think he only sings about 10 songs, but I know he'll put all of the effort into those 10 songs that he possibly can. But, it is freezing in London today. What is going on? Yet again, it's, it's winter. I know it's winter, Sam. But, this is like extra special, ready to snow cold. I'd love it if it snowed. I'd really love that. <laughs> Sam Ryder, take an absolute bow. That is how you do a concert. Hour 10, smashed it, great songs, incredible voice as always, legend. I'm gonna end the vlog while I'm walking home because I think I've ended the vlog enough in my bedroom. I kind of wanted to end it slightly differently, you know? Sam Ryder, I seriously have never seen a performer like that. From the moment he walked on stage, he only did an hour. He only did an hour and probably did 10, 12 songs, if that. Had the whole audience going throughout. Just incredible. And I'm going to see him at the event him in April. I think I bought tickets ages ago. But that was such a good gig. And that was exactly what I needed. Thank you very much, Sam Ryder. You're probably not watching, but I thought I'd just thank you anyway. Today has been another good day. It's been a day of just doing things that make me happy. So, earlier on going for lunch, I've done some work emails. It's all been really productive, enjoyable at the same time as well. Um, I shouldn't be out of breath at this, this is not good. I should be able to walk and talk at the same time while vlogging. But, tomorrow, we have a potential potential to go to a crisp pop-up in Soho. Now, I only saw the email yesterday. I emailed them, didn't get a response. So what I'm gonna do is just turn up with the invite and just be like, am I allowed to come in? Because <laughs> it's a really cool thing to have put on. So it'd be great for my TikTok as well. So I wanna get back into TikTok. So that will be fun if it happens tomorrow. If not, I've got a whole day of admin and kind of contacting people and getting people's emails. It's gonna be a productive day if I don't go to the crisp pop-up. But for the time being, thank you for coming on these ventures and I'll see you as later.